Hey everybody, this is Kodak here. Well, it's looking grim for Bakugan of America. The thing is, while the Bakutech anime has finally come out, they are just little five-minute mini-episodes that are treated like Battle beat -em on in that they play with the actual toys rather than the huge fantastical monsters we remember from the original season. Doesn't look all that good. And, you know, I don't know if it would really help in America. I mean, I guess it could work if they were made into, like, five-minute mini-webisodes that people could watch for free and kind of help promote the brand a little bit, but it's nothing on the scale of what I'm sure Spin Master wants, and they seem more than happy to continue hemorrhaging money, good money earned from Bakugan on an incredibly stupid premise. Anyway, some of you guys might remember that I had the three original Japanese exclusive Bakugan that weren't Bakutech on my show a while back. Well, thanks to a guy named the Alts Earn H Or, I managed to get the other three exclusive Bakugan. First up, we have Knight Percival, Percival's evolution from Bakugan Nuvestroya. Admittedly, this one is an Aquas, but it still has the same effect as a regular Percival. It has a spin top activation, as well as several fold out parts, including hands and feet, and these horns, which actually make it kind of hard to close, including some very large wings. Up next, Master Ingram, this time in Delicious Chaos. We remember Master Ingram partly because she became a he in the second half of the season, with no really well-explained reason. It's got four sets of wings, some big arms, and a large head here, and it actually boasts some really nice sculpting and a nice look. And finally, the much-anticipated Helios Mark II. Now, this is a Ventus Helios, and as you can see, it's not the version of Helios Mark II that can equip Battle Gear. That one is incredibly rare and also incredibly expensive. Heck, all these are actually pretty rare and expensive. I like these guys, and I think they look really nice compared to a lot of the Bakugan we've seen before. Thanks again to Alternator for trading them for me. Go and check out his channel. He's a really cool guy. And um, I also have a bit of a proposal for Spin Master. You know, I'm sure a lot of people in the United States would love to get their hands on these Bakugan. They, are pro they were probably some of the most anticipated ones back in Nuvestroya. And since their molds exist already, I don't think it would be too hard to make anymore. So here's what I have to say. Bring them in in just the original attributes they were in the show. All six, one pack, $24. I'm thinking they would probably sell pretty well. If it comes down to the fact that you can only include one small gate card in the entire pack to get it, bring it down to $24, I'm okay with that. That would work. People just really want to get these Bakugan. I think they might be good in the interim if really this is only going to be a small break so that the rest of the world can catch up to Bakugan and then we can just make a whole big global explosion of the whole thing, then that would be cool. But really, I'm still kind of worried. I don't know if it'll even go anywhere because I don't know if Bakugan quite does what Spin Master wants to do. It's not failing epically. I guess that means it's not what Spin Master wants it to do. Anyway, next time here, I plan to finally tear apart Redekai, six months after its general release. So until then, this is Kodok signing off.